In the 18th century, Russia tried to conquer Chukotka Peninsula, the furthest northeastern region of modern Russia, but the conquest attempt ended in failure. The Chukchi tribesmen were fierce warriors, and the Russian troops, stationed far from their homeland, didn't have the numbers to overwhelm them. In 1747, the Chukchi won a pivotal battle at the Orlova River, killing the region's primary Russian commander, Major Dmitry Pavlitsky. The tribesmen, numbering around 500, were pitted against Pavlitsky's 97 Cossacks. It was a case of bows against guns, but the bows and spears emerged victorious. Most Russian soldiers were killed or wounded. Pavlitsky covered the retreat and was among the last soldiers to fall, engaging in close combat with a rifle in one hand and a saber in the other, he accepted his defeat when overpowered, deliberately exposing a steel cuirass to allow enemy spears to pierce his heart. Subsequently, the Chukchi wove many tales and legends glorifying their victories over the Russians, portraying Pavlitsky as the primary antagonist, a sort of perfect foreign evil. In contrast, the Russian Empire entirely shifted its approach from conquest to diplomacy. Eventually, they essentially paid Chukchi leaders to nominally accept Russian rule in 1778, a victory for capitalism, I suppose.